Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with the news China is facing a very fast rising bad loan problem. But first in the US, new claims for unemployment came in at 963,000 last week, which was less than expected. 15.2 million people are now claiming these benefits, a drop of 625,000 the, from the previous week, as benefit qualifications keep on expiring. And Congress still hasn't agreed any extending of this support. Mexico is facing strong economic contraction this year and expects only a moderate recovery for 2021. Today, their central bank cut half a percent from its benchmark policy rate to 4.5%. But inflation there is back above 3%, so the chance of further cuts are receding. And China has reported an increase, admittedly a small half a percent rise, in foreign direct investment entering the country. This is a turnaround from net outflows over the past few months. And in eastern China, authorities at the port city of Yantai have said imported frozen seafood was detected with a strain of coronavirus. It was on the packaging, not the shrimp imported from Ecuador. And they have financial contamination too. Their top banking official said that the country's banks will have to deal with 3.4 trillion yuan's worth of non-performing loans in 2020. That's up almost 50% from 2019 as the value of Bad loans could go even higher in 2021. In India, inflation has come in sharply higher than expected, up 6.9% in July from the same month a year ago. Food inflation was up 8.7%, with meat and fish up almost 19%. Milk products are up 6.6%. Floods in eastern India are taking the blame. Australia's jobless rate rose marginally in July, but employment grew more than expected. But two-thirds of the growth in that was in part-time work. This data was before the Victorian lockdown. There are now one million Australian workers that are jobless. The US Treasury 10-year yield is firmer at 0.72%, up five basis points from this time yesterday, and getting most of that jump in the last hour. But all of this movement is at the long end. And the price of gold is still volatile. It's up to date by $25 to $1,958 an ounce, and that's a 1.3% rise from this time yesterday. And silver is up almost 2%. Oil prices are soft today. They're now just over $42 a barrel in the US, and the international price is just under $45 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar fell overnight. It's bowed back to 65.6 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we're soft at 91.6 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're down even more to 55.5 euro cents. That means our trade weight in index has dropped to 68.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.